Hello everyone, this is Andy and I'm making a video for you here. Uh, this video here, I'm going to go ahead and take care of a couple of applications that we're going to need to have installed and set up in order to get your Final Fantasy private server up and running. So what I'm going to start off with here first is just downloading the actual files for the game uh, itself. Not the, final, not the actual Final Fantasy game, but this is just the, um, the files, uh, the program to actually get the server up and running. So basically what I want you to do is go ahead and, um, it's in the description here, uh, Darkstar the server files. So basically what I want you to do is go to the link there and you're going to go ahead and download download zip file. So go here, click it, download the zip and then once you have everything, this is just my backup file here my backup folders here. So uh, drag everything over and it should look just like this all these files here. And so uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and go into uh, this folder here. Uh, you won't see this here, this is a personal file here. And what you're going to do is go ahead and go uh, to here, the very first file there. And what I want you to do is go ahead and type in, um, it should be, yeah, basically, basically go ahead and write this information down. Um, it should be, uh, if you looked at the video as far as setting up the MySQL server, uh, if you wrote down the name and password and everything that you had, their settings should match those here. So if you wrote, uh, if you can either type localhost or you can just type the 127.0.0.1 and I'll connect to your computer. Uh, the login, uh, the password, and you can do, um, so the name of the database here should match when you have in Navicat. It's actually a bit different here. I just did that to give it, give an example there. So if you do that, you're gonna have some issues. So basically what, what you want to do is just name that Dark star should match this one here, and you may not have any issues. I'm not too sure, um, but yeah. So basically, when it, you want to make sure you uh, label the name of the database should match the uh, the one here in Navicat, and that's pretty much it. If you actually look here, let's see. Okay, let's be close. If you look here, my password here again. This is just a backup folder, so the password is here is actually a bit longer. So uh, you want to make sure everything here matches. Uh, so, so the local host and 127.0.0.1, they're actually the same. They're gonna connect to your local computer or to your computer basically. Uh, and that is pretty much it with this here, um, with this file here. So you wanna do the same for uh, not only for that file, but also for this one here. The map, open this here and just scroll down. You'll see the exact same files. And then the third file we wanna take care of is this one, uh, this one here, the server search. Just scroll down, it's right here. And that's it. And it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Uh, I make, I recommend uh, once you have everything um, set there, you should make a. Uh, you can also make a backup just in case you have any issues. You can just, you know, just uh, copy the back. So for example, I can do this. Let's go one, two, and three. So once I have everything set and configured, just make a. You really, you drag it over like that. Make a new copy, I believe. Oh, it's not working. You just copy and paste, basically. That's it. I don't need them, so I'm gonna erase them. And yeah, so always have a backup of everything. So if you have any issues, uh, you you know you tweak something and you make a mistake, you can always just uh, replace it with your the files you backed up. Going to the next uh, step here, uh, what you're gonna do with uh, this folder here? You're actually gonna open up this one and open. So once you have your Visual Studio installed, you're going to open it here. It's going to open Visual Studio here. Uh, might take a little bit of time here. So while that's running, let me go ahead and just cl cl click in the background here. Okay. It's going to take some time here. Okay, there we go. And you should have everything here. So what you're going to do from here, um, once that's set and done, you're just going to hit build solution. So build a solution and then you should get, um, if you don't have any issues, everything goes straight through, then you're all set. Um, some people have had issues with this. Um, I, if, if I can't see a screenshot of your computer, I can't really help you out with that. Uh, you just have to keep, just keep trying it, keep trying build solution to see if you get, uh, get lucky and it actually goes through. 
Um, I had issues with um, with Visual Studio 2019, which is why I went to Visual Studio 2022, and I haven't had that issue ever since. So yeah, so that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it with that. Just again, this is in your dark uh, your dark star folder, in your Win32. Go ahead and build that, and you will be set. So basically, once it's built, you will see this here. It will, you will have these three files here, and this, these are the files that you're going to need in order to connect to your own computer, basically. And yeah, that's pretty much it, and um, that's going to be it for this year. Other than that, you don't have to do anything else in this folder here. Uh, again, I do recommend making a backup of this so that, if you, again, if you have any issues, you can always replace, um, replace it with your backup folder, and you will be able to get in the game again. Okay, so um, oh, actually, there's one more thing. So one more thing uh, with Navicat, what we're going to do... It's once we connect to Navicat, let's see. Uh, when you first have your everything set up here for yourself, you won't have the tables here. I have all these tables because I dragged everything over. So you download the files, you have them in your specific folder, your desert your in your specific designation. What you want to do is go into the uh, SQL folder here, and you're just gonna just drag in the and uh, just make sure this it's on uh, tables. You're gonna drag each individual file over one by one. Um, it gets a bit tricky. You can't do this and drag everything over because it won't work. I've tried it many times and it doesn't work. <laughs> so um, make sure you have everything over. You can you can even do a count if you want. Um, so I, I highlight 98 files. You can always you can go in here and see how many files you... Here's those 96. Uh, I'm not sure why, <laughs> uh, but my game works perfectly. I'm not too sure why. Maybe because I, this, this is here. Actually, this we don't need. And the triggers, as I mentioned uh, in the first video, the triggers uh, file is actually an issue as well. And I believe I have a backup of the triggers here as well. But anyways, uh, if you have any issue with the triggers, uh, please uh, let me know in the comments and I will make a separate video for that. Um, I, again, I don't have it here, as you see, but I can actually load the game and the game works fine. Uh, just to go on into a little bit more detail as far as the folder that I recommend having uh, yourself set up is... So basically, the Final Fantasy game, it is in my program files. Let me go ahead and load that here in a separate window. Let's see, program files here. Okay, so my program files here. Let me go ahead and open this. And where's it at? Um, here, Play Online, Square Enix. And as you can see, I have all my files here. So basically, your XI loader... Um, that is uh, actually that is actually written down here, and the windower. Um, again, just have a, a, a designated folder that of uh, your choice, and just have all, every, all the files there, so you know exactly where everything is. So uh, I have the windower. I have it here on my desktop, so I can just click on it. And I can load the game anytime. Uh, let's see here. So the the play online viewer and the XI loader file is here, and this is my original backup of. I'm oh, sorry. This is my XI loader, and this is the original Play Online file. I just wait. I'm confusing myself. So the original Play Online file is here. I just put a one there just so that uh, this one takes over basically. And this is the XI loader, and that is uh, located here. And let's see anything else here. Um, there is one thing I do want to go over. Let me go ahead and go to the back to the Dark Star server. Okay, here we go. So what we're going to have to do here This is extremely important. So what we're going to have to do is Okay, here. I found it. So open your Final Fantasy. This is extremely important. Um this should be a video in itself because uh, this is extremely confusing because some people delete files and it doesn't update. Um, so basically what I'm trying to say is that uh, in order for you to get the game up to date, what you're going to have to do is so here you're going to have to go into the go so the XI, uh, Final Fantasy XI folder that's going to be located here. You're going to go into ROM 0 and you're going to delete this one here. So when you delete this one, what's going to happen is that once you open the Play Online, let's see, where's my folder at here? Okay, essentially what you want to do is go ahead and open your Play Online viewer. So I'll go ahead and cut the music out here. When it pops up, 
completely forgot about this. I don't want any copyright issues. Okay, it's still, it's still down. Okay, good. So if you, what you're going to want to do here is uh, once you delete that file, you're going to go to check files. And once you check the files here, what's going to happen is going to pop up um, a message showing that you need to repair, giving you the option to repair. So once you repair everything, uh, close everything out. I don't need to do this because it takes a really long time. It's going to take maybe, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes up to an hour, depending on, you know, your computer speed. So once everything is done, just name that pol uh, pol1.exe, and then your XI loader file, as I mentioned before, is gonna be located. Let me go ahead and open my content folder here. And don't worry, this is not a virus. You'll be completely safe. Let's see. So just download and drag this over into your your folder there, and that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. So this one here, just rename it to this. I see there are no viruses here, nothing's gonna pop up. It basically just tries to load the game. Again, I'm not connected and I haven't loaded the server files yet, so it's not gonna, they're not gonna run. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And, and if you have any issues with the version, um, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> again, another video thing I'm saying again. So basically you're gonna have to make sure this here matches another, uh, matches something else, I can't remember exactly, but I had an issue with this and then as soon as I, I fixed this, the game was up and running again. So we'll we'll get that um, resolved in the future. If you have any issues, please listen down in the comments and we'll try, I'll try my best to have uh, the corrector for it. It was either that one or, let me go back to my dark online, uh, my dark star folder here. Let's see, where is it at? So many files here, wow. Let me go back and close over here. Oh, this, sorry, this one here. This is the one I had issues with here, version Oh, no, that's going to be a big problem here. Okay, so basically I had issues with uh, this this file here. It didn't match uh, one of the uh, the the files here, and I couldn't get the game running. So that was a big issue, but I got it up and running. Let me go ahead and just edit with this here, see what happens. Open with... Oh, I can't find anything here. Okay, open with... Oh, it's not giving me any options here. Let's see, more apps. This one should work. This one pretty much opens anything. Yeah, so if you don't have the correct version, uh, you're gonna get this message here. So expect a client version, this one, so wrong version, cannot log in. I had this issue, I was really, it was really pissed me off and I was able to get through it. And actually, yeah, I, didn't, I never realized this here. So you can disable it. I think I tried that actually, and um, enable strict. Yeah, I believe um, I actually tried zero here and it wouldn't, it still wouldn't work. I don't know, you can try it. If you have that issue, please, 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 please check it out here because, and I should I should mention that in the description because uh, some people have had this issue, and I was like, what the heck, wrong version? I never had this issue before before until uh, that time when I had it. So I was getting a message from people, people asking me like, how do you fix this? And I was like, I have no idea. I never seen that that uh, that error before, and I couldn't see a screenshot through YouTube, YouTube comments. So when I had that issue, then I uh, I got a resolve, um, but I did it a different way. So. Uh, I think I changed this number here to something. I, ha I can't remember exactly, but if you have this issue, please, please, please uh, send them in the comments and I'll try to make a video, especially for that because that was really a nightmare to get that resolved. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, everything else should be pretty straightforward. Just, again, just make sure you have uh, everything in one central folder so that everything is for you is easy to find and you don't get lost, uh, especially this here. Um, the last thing is the windower. I recommend um, having the windower. Let me go ahead and open this one more time. Not that one. Let's see. Open. Okay. I made a mistake there. Okay, I'm trying to get you the folder there. Okay. So the windower, what I want you to do to make it easier for yourself, let me go ahead and go back to my program files. Give this like a show, okay. So windower's here, and this is actually connected to the windower. You're actually gonna need the settings folder. Uh, if you don't, um, if this is not here, some, I think I downloaded one version and actually didn't have this this file here. You can just pretty much make your own. You can make pretty much, let's see, make a new, 
a new file here. It doesn't matter. So let's put set, and then you can change it to so the XML. Yes, and as you see, it's going to make it look like this one here. So if I oh, if I edit this one here, I mean you can just copy and paste this information into. I should just put this into the uh, description here as well. So this has to be accurate, like this here, the args, and then the server, and then I'm connecting my local host here. This has to be accurate or it's not gonna work, pretty much. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, once you have everything up and running, that should be, uh, everything should be going smoothly for you. I mean, I didn't have any issues uh, when I followed the instructions from this, this website here. Again, this website is very buggy. I mean, sometimes it loads for me, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but I don't know what I just downloaded there. <laughs> um, just make sure uh, you um, and make sure you have everything uh, that I mentioned in the description. Make sure you have everything installed. Make sure you have everything um, uh, set correctly, especially with the uh, MySQL. And make sure you drag everything over to your tables and Navicat. And you should be pretty much set to go. That's pretty much it. And then, so what I'm going to do in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and just show you exactly how to make how to um, how to log into your personal server, how you how make, sh make sure everything loads up for you. So I'm gonna show you how to load everything up, make sure everything's working properly. And yeah, and that's gonna be it for this video. Okay, hope you guys all have a nice day. We'll see you in the next video and enjoy. Bye-bye.